Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my June update to the Paranormal Pantivity Project pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that was created by Andrea, and I do have her link down below. This started on September 24th of last year, goes to September 24th of this year because it is National Ghost Hunting Day. For this project, Andrea created 31 prompts that are all about spooks, specters, and spirits. We were to start off with as many or as few prompts as we'd liked, and I decided to start this project off by rolling all 31 prompts in at the same time. As of the last update, I had hit my goal on 18 out of the 31 prompts, and I have three more goals hit for this update. So let's start at the top of the list and work our way down. The first prompt is Poltergeist, a product that gives you trouble, it's hard to use, has faulty packaging, etc. For that, I rolled in my ColourPop and Disney Villains collab. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Sad But True. As of the last update, I had used this six times, and over the past month, I have used it an additional 67, and this is my first empty and goal hit for this update. I took the stopper out, got every last bit out of here. I got 73 uses on this product. The reason why I chose this for the Poltergeist is because I don't like the little brush tip applicator that it has. I much prefer a doe foot applicator. So I'm happy that this one is gone and out of my collection. The next prompt is Dybbuk, a product still in its box. For me, that was my Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden Perfume. I did decant this into this container here so that I could spray it on. I much prefer to spray on my perfumes. As of the last update, I had used it 27 times to get down to here. I had to use it nine more times and this one is completely empty. I got every last bit out of here. I have 36 total uses on this, so this is goal number two that I have hit for this update. Next is Demon, a product that you were tempted into buying. That is my AOA Studio Green Tea and Vitamin E Cleansing Balm. Everybody kept talking about how amazing this was and how it was a dupe for the Pharmacy Green Clean, so I got this and I wanted to try it out. As of the last update, I had used it four times, and over the past month, I've used it an additional 15. You can see there is still plenty of product in here. Looking through the packaging, I think I'm about down to here. So... I would say about half of the product is gone so far. This is nice. I do prefer the Pharmacy Green Clean over this, but they both work really well. Next is Necromancy, a product you haven't used in a long time. For me, that is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. My goal is to finish this one. And as of the last update, I had used it 119 times to get down to here. I have used it 15 more and I am right there. It doesn't want to settle properly right now, but I am at 134 uses. Hopefully you can see there is just that littlest bit of product down here. It's going to take me a month or two to finish that off completely. Even though this is an older product in my collection, it still smells like peaches. It still works really well and I am enjoying this powder a lot. Next is Urban Legend, a product that's too good to be true. For me, it's my Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. As of the last update, I had used this 57 times to get down to here. I've used it five more and I have the littlest amount of progress right here. So I'm at 62 uses from the very top all the way down to here. This is a larger container. It's 9.7 ounces or 286 mils. I have slowed down the product on this because I have a Not Your Mother's Curl Talk hair mousse that I put into, I believe it's Nightmare on Panning Street. And so I'm kind of going between the two of them. I should hopefully have this empty for the next update. That's not a lot of product left in here. Next is Orbs, a product that brings light to your face. I chose the Ulta Beauty Under Eye Brightener. I did set the goal to use this 31 times because there are 31 prompts in this project. As of the last update, I had used it 15 times, and over the past month, I used it the additional 16 that I needed to hit that goal. So this is goal number three that I have hit. I'll give you a swatch of this. This is a bit too pink for me. As you can see, I do have a warmer undertone to my skin, but I'm able to make this one work. I forgot to mark it on the side here, so I don't have any progress marks to show you, but there is still a lot of product left in here. So this one's gonna take months to finish up. However, I've hit my 31 use goal, so this is rolling out of the project. 
Next is Flying Dutchman, a product you are doomed to pan what feels like forever. For that, I rolled in an eyeshadow from my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette working on the shade Cone. As of the last update, I had used it 60 times, and over the past month, I've used it an additional 15, and it is still going. You can barely see a dip in here. I am at 75 uses and you can barely see a dip. That is why I think this is perfect for the prompt, a product you are doomed to pan what feels like forever. 75 uses I thought I would have had pan by now. I don't. I don't even know if I'm halfway to pan yet. We will see. I will keep using this. I like to use this as my first transition shade with every look that I do. I'll keep track of the uses and keep you posted. And then the next prompt is Afterlife, a product that's past its expiration date. Again, another eyeshadow from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. This time I was working on the shade Virgin with a goal to finish it. As of the last update, I had used it 46 times. And over the past month, I have used this an additional 15. And this is what it's looking like. You can see I repressed it and I have hit pan again in many places. There is the thinnest layer around here. I think this one will be done within the next possibly 10 uses. I have 61 uses on this eyeshadow for this prompt. However, it was another prompt in this project earlier on in the year. So adding those two numbers together, I am at 106 uses for this eyeshadow. Next is Domovic, a household spirit in Russian folklore. This is a product that followed you from house to house. I just chose my oldest product. This is my Garnier Fructique Style Full Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. As of the last update, I had used it 21 times to get down to here. I've used it three more and I've made a jump down to here. So from this teal line down to here, I have used it 24 times. I still have a couple more months to go. I'm hoping that this will be done by the end of this project. I would love to have this out of my collection and not have any other hairspray to worry about. And then the final prompt I have to talk about is one that I just started working on over the past month. That is for silkies. They're female spirits dressed in silk. For that, we are to choose a item with silky texture or something that leaves your skin feeling silky smooth. For that, I chose my Hemp's Spun Sugar and Vanilla Bean Herbal Body Moisturizer. This was brand new all the way up to here. And over the past month, I have used this six times and I am already down to here. This is one of the Hemp's lotions that I think the scent is just okay. The combination between the sponge sugar and vanilla bean isn't my favorite. I love items that are scented with vanilla. However, this isn't one of them and I can't quite figure out what it is. I will continue to use it. It's not off-putting, but it's just not my favorite. And that is the last product I have to share with you for this update. So I've hit my goal on three more items. I have finished off this lip gloss. I have finished off this perfume. And then I have hit my usage goal on this Ulta Beauty under eye concealer. So that takes me to 21 out of 31 goals hit, which means I have 10 more products that I'm working on. For this next update, I do think that I will have a couple more goals met. For sure, I will have this white eyeshadow in the shade Virgin finished. This lotion shouldn't be an issue to finish at all. And I'm hoping I can have this hair gel finished. You can see by my progress marks and my jumps, it shouldn't be a stretch to have that gone for the next update. And potentially I could have this AOA balm done. Depends on how many times I do my makeup over the next month. So I think I will have three, maybe four goals hit for the next update. That is everything that I have for you. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. For this project, Andrea created 31 prompts that are all about spookters, specters, and spirits. Spookers. <laughs> Next is Flying Dutchman, a product you were dan-